iSTEM is an integrated program that explores the connectivity between science, technology, engineering and math, driven through a lens of innovation. iSTEM students develop innovation skills related to engineering design and design thinking, entrepreneurial thinking skills, and global competencies. Students learn to be prepared for technological change and disruption, globalization, and shifting demographics. There's a lot of things that make the iSTEM program unique. Our students in iSTEM learn in grade 9 and 10 uh, four subjects integrated all year long. So in grade 9 they're learning math and science and tech design and geography all at the same time um, so that they never really know what subject they're learning and when they're learning it. This innovative four-year program is for high school students in Halton and beyond. iSTEM is offered at the following schools. Aldershot High School in Burlington, Elsie McGill Secondary School in Milton, T.A. Blakelock High School in Oakville. Probably my favorite part of iSTEM is the fact that we get to do group projects with others that are interested in what we're doing. So we get to come together as a group and think about what we want to do, how we want to achieve it, and use different strategies that we have learned to complete it effectively. Since everybody chose to be in this program and everyone is passionate about what we're learning, everybody wants to help and wants to do as much as they can. You get like different perspectives and stuff. Like you might like be thinking a certain way, but like everyone else is thinking differently. So you get to see like uh, different opinions and stuff. With a lot of iSTEM, you're doing a lot of learning like visual as well as kinesthetic. And something I noticed about me is that I love learning things using different ways. Like I love learning um, visual and I love doing kinesthetic stuff and I need a variety in order to keep me engaged. The design challenge they're participating in is actually the one my first year students participate in. Uh, and it's, uh, it involves inviting a local person, a client, into the classroom for whom the students design. And this year we had uh, a woman who was actually a mature student at McMaster University with uh, primary generalized dystonia. And their job, my students' job, and uh, the students I think here at uh, iSTEM, are essentially tasked with designing something uh, that could help her with some of the, uh, the movement dis uh, problems she has due to the dystonia. Because the four subjects that are math, science, tech, and geography are so correlated, you have the opportunity to solve a number of different problems in a variety of your own ways. You learn more and when you're older and want to become an engineer, you have to have all four subjects anyways. So it's preparing you for our futures more. That really anything is possible and giving students the tools, the mindset and the creativity and developing their passion for learning and solving problems is the way to go. We have the chance to try a bunch of new things that we couldn't really do in regular school. I really love the Rubber Chicken Award, which is an award that we're given when we fail. And that's just an incredible thing because we're celebrating our failures. And that just encourages us because it's the effort that counts. We get to look at real world issues like our Ravine project. It's not something that we would have done in a normal high school scene. The ravine project is there's basically a ravine behind the school and uh, the problem is it's eroding at an unnatural rate so it's eroding a bit too fast. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to find a solution to the erosion problem so we're trying to make it erode slower at a, at a more natural rate. There isn't a fixed answer, there isn't a right answer at the end. Uh, they need to make their way through a lot of uncertainty and ambi ambiguity and there is plenty of room for failure through a project like this. I think the most important piece of advice that I could give a future iSTEM student is you have to be passionate about these STEM subjects and you have to be able to see a future for yourself with a STEM related job or profession because if you're in this program it will be your future.